This hoodie smells like sunscreen and I'm pretty sure it's because I haven't worn it since the summer. Alright, so guys, the other day, I was at work and I realized I don't use anything I learned in college at work. And that got me wondering, is that just me? Did I study a fake major or is everyone like this too? So I went and asked college students, what's the most useful thing that you've learned in college? It didn't go well. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, it's free, you can unsubscribe at any time, and if this gets to 30 likes, then maybe I'll ask students what's the most useless thing they learned in college. Cool. What is your name and major? Kimberly, clinical psychology. Done. Fine, science. Dude, I can major. Trinity, structural engineering major. Cushy, near biology. Denise, public health with concentration in medical sciences. Jared, I'm a computer science. Caitlin, I'm a business psych. What do you learn in business psych? Oh, you got no clue. Anna, aerospace engineer. So you're smart. <laughs> I can't. She's valedictorian, bro. I am uh, neurobiology major. Who's the smarter one? No, don't answer that. <laughs> Our major or any major? Tell me the most useful thing you learned in college so far. <laughs> Shoot, man. Uh, you go first. Nothing. Nothing comes to mind, honestly. I don't think I've learned anything. All my classes have been rough, yeah. C's get degrees. <laughs> oh, I've gotten better at math. Is it gonna help you once you graduate, though? Probably if I become a jet engineer. What is something random that you know about math that you didn't know before college? What a series is. I don't know. You didn't know what series are? How do you feel f***ed up? You learned that in a class? Yeah, every CS class yeah. ever. And child psychology, like how to raise a baby. Do you have a kid? No. <laughs> and the funny thing is I don't even want kids either. What do you remember? Not to talk in baby talk or else they won't like learn anything from that. Cause like you're making up languages. What's baby talk? Oh, come here, little baby. Like, you know. Wait, but that's just English, isn't it? Yeah, but they do it in like a weird way or like, like the goo goo gaga noises? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, uh, is that what you're talking like about? Like da da, or like something like that to say like dad. The cell structure of like <laughs> eukaryotes or something. <laughs> membrane, mm, membrane bound organelles. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I feel like that's pretty important. How are you going to use that? I'm not going to use that. You just put it on Sorry. your finger by itself. <laughs> Mitochondria is the powerhouse yeah. of the cell. That works too for Helen. A lot of things in my plant science class, you know? Give me something specific. I think it's a phototropism. Plants will grow towards a light source. If you want like different plants to grow in like, different shapes and all that, basically you can just move your light source or move your plant a different direction and put what like objects in front of it and it'll like crawl towards the light. In a management class, I think we talked about the fact that conflict within relationships strengthens it. So you should only like bring up problems and create conflict in a relationship that you're invested in and want to. Better. So if I really love someone, I should just keep fighting them. Yeah, kind of. Okay, my CogSci class, we did a whole lecture about sleeping habits. And uh, before CogSci class, I was sleeping probably seven hours, six and a half hours a night. Since then, I've been eight hours every night, and I feel phenomenal. You know what I'm when are you going to use integrals in life, though? <laughs> On my next test. <laughs> like real. By parts. When I learned that, my calc game changed. It was great. But when are you ever going to use that? Yeah, like you, in all my math classes. Public health is a group project, not an independent project. We can take COVID-19 as an example. In order for all of us to return back to what our normal lifestyle was, it takes a teamwork of everyone to get vaccinated, to take protocols, to really like, you know, get tested every day so that we can prevent the spread of COVID-19. So you individually can't stop it, but as a group we can. Yes, we can. And that's what sucks about group projects sometimes because people do not put in their part. There are four having this moment, hormone, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins. How do I boost that? How do I get out of this depression real quick. It depends on what you want to do to get the hormone. Like dopamine is just regular, like general happiness. You want exitocin, uh Even though I'm struggling so hard right now in physics, actually using sine, cosine, and all that stuff, and like if you throw a ball up in there, say you're like trying to shoot something in a tree, like how high it's gonna go, what the range, everything like that. Okay, so if I throw a ball here at a 50 degree angle, where will it land? My TA gave us his switch code so we can play Switch with him. Have you played with him? No. <laughs> you know how to fly a plane? Oh, you know how to fly a plane? No, not, not me. Like, I don't know how to fly a plane. But, but it's like, like, like the physics of it. Yeah, there. the physics of it. Do you want to fly planes? Like, I want to make planes, but more specifically, I want to go into like rockets. I'm in Call of Duty, you know, like that game where like... <laughs> You're in Call of Duty? No, no, no. Mission failed.
We'll get him next time. It's like a course like studying disability, like analyzing how like society interacts with disabled people. I think specifically how abled body actors they portray being disabled and there's all these like you know backlash about that how like it could be potentially like a disabled people doing those roles and they're kind of taking those roles. Blurring your background means people can't see your roommates running around in the back. Learning about like intersectionality like black women have a more marginalized experience because they're both like African American and women. Hash sets and hash maps. Explain to me in like kindergarten terms what that is. So when you store data, traditionally you store it in an array. So you just like take your data and you just place it in memory. So you know you have like a bunch of numbers, you place them one after another, uh -huh. you tell the computer to allocate a certain amount of space and you just like dub your numbers there. But a hash map, what it is, is there's a special algorithm that basically um, determines where to put the number. So it's like kind of having like a digital filing cabinet that's like really advanced. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a good way of putting it. Probably my data science class, if you have like a data set of like basketball data, you can figure out like who's the better, best player. Who's the best player? I gotta go with Curry, man. Dude, you, you haven't learned anything at the school then, though. <laughs> so I learned more about like Medicare and Medicaid. The fact that everyone is kind of required to have health care. So either you're going to have it through your job or um, like if you're on Medicaid or Medicare, and, or um, you have to pay for it yourself. Why is that? I mean, I guess we need it. Most of what humans consider taste is actually just smell. So if there's something you have to eat that you don't like, you just pinch your nose and it tastes like half as bad. Bro, I think we learned that in like kindergarten. Not talking about like education, I think it's more of just like living by myself. At home, my mom was like, oh, clean my room, you know, make my bed and stuff. And now by myself, I'm like, oh, I want to do these things. And I want to like have like a good clean room so I can get like... Do you make your bed every morning? I do. Wow, I don't do it. <laughs> like living on campus is just like different from obviously being at home and like... You like, learned how to do your own laundry, huh? No, I've always done my own laundry, bro. Oh, so, I don't want my mom's tricky wish. Nah, fuck. <laughs> Thing, literally.